is an instrument played without contact. The player uses discrete and precise hand-finger movements to evoke pitch and articulation. Most commonly known as the pitch and volume antennas, the regular unit has the right antenna or the vertical antenna provide about four and a half to five octaves of notes that one can locate and drag to and from the antenna for a sustained tone with the right hand, giving you a glissando of sorts. The left hand is given the task of working with the volume antenna to pull out articulations such as staccato, legato, and other phrasing in conjunction with the right hand to give an expressive performance. Of course, the pitch antenna can be used to create some beautifully evocative phrases by bending tones and the such. The pitch antenna is this one. The closer you get to the antenna, the higher the notes. And inversely, you get lower notes as the hand edges closer to the body. The volume antenna. The regular unit, as designed by Leon Theremin and later redesigned and made popular by Bob Moog, both provide for the left hand to change the dB volume of the instrument in this manner. As you draw closer to the hooped antenna, the softer it gets until you hit the null point. And as you move away, you turn up the pre-calibrated volume. However, I decided it was more intuitive in inverted. Imagine a flame or campfire where one gets warmer as one approaches the flame. I want a volume to heat up as I approach the antenna. Hence, my Ethwave and E-Pro were modified in that manner. Bob Moak was kind enough to make sure my E-Pro were to specs, so to speak. During a photo shoot, the E-Pro was toppled and its volume antenna fractured. I had to send it back for repairs, and that's when Moak Music discovered Bob had not left any blueprints to its custom modification. Playing a regular unit is not the same as playing my inverted unit. Can you imagine using the brake pedal in a vehicle inversely?